Hi there! This is Al from TheGamingGeek.net and today we're going to take a look at Destroy All Humans, the PlayStation 2 release. I'm not sure if this was uh, released um, on GameCube. I didn't bother to check. Um, I'm testing this because it was a request from one of the uh, channel subscribers. So here we go. Um, now, uh, Destroy All Humans, I guess, is something that uh, people have been... Uh, having trouble getting to run well and yeah this is an interesting test because um, there are some issues but uh, we'll go ahead and get into uh, the settings so um, from, I'm using EtherSX2 uh, the only good uh, PS2 emulator for uh, Android uh, or well I mean there's Nether SX2 right but they're essentially the same um, I'm using version 1.4. The version num the exact version number will be in the video description. And let's see. Yeah, here are my red 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 profile. So high performance and smart fan. And uh, we'll go ahead and go into the uh, Ether SX2 settings now. Uh, the reason why this game is interesting is because you have to turn a setting on and off depending on where you are in the game, right? Like, if you're playing the game, you have to turn that setting on. And if you're in cutscenes, you have to turn it off. Uh, and so I'll show you what that setting is. But um, in Ether SX2, press on Set Optimal Settings. Don't change anything in System Settings, right? Um... For graphics, uh, you have to you, you can use G OpenGL for your renderer, and actually, it can use a two X uh, upscaling, right? Uh, make sure that threaded presentation is enabled. Audio, uh, oops, audio interpolation, is Gaussian, and synchronization is time stretch. Now, the big setting that you you need to be aware of is in advanced. Scroll uh, down, and you'll see where is it manual hardware fixes right so you have to enable that and then you have to change these two options so you'll see skip draw start and script skip draw end change that to two and to five and i'll show you why later but look at what happens you see press the press start button will disappear right so uh we'll enable that again so if as you can tell skip draw means some assets are not being drawn on the screen right so if i disable it you see press start button is back and uh actually uh before we start i'm gonna disable it right and then we're uh, i'm gonna enable it sorry enabling manual hardware fixes look at what's happening on screen right nothing or some flickering but if I uh, enable or disable uh, disable manual hardware fixes and there was actually a cutscene playing an FMV playing so right now it's enabled uh, it's disabled man I'm getting confused I think it's disabled yeah because it's a there it's disabled so let's press start new game uh i'm not gonna enable yeah auto saving disabled now uh, i'm gonna enable it right uh manual hardware fixes so so this cutscene runs well right So let's have it, you know, play out. Might exist out there. Hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment. I've never had this play out, by the way. I've always skipped this. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? So I don't know how long this will go. There you go. Destroy all humans. There's, there's actually 
This game's very appealing. It's so it's so fun. All right. Yeah, I've never seen this before. It looks like it runs with manual hardware fixes turned on. Right. Hmm. He's injured. All right. This is getting me interested in the game. Um, man, my backlog list is already so long. I'm not sure I'll be able to find time to actually play this. But this is uh, very interesting. You know what? Because um, I'm excited to show you. Um, I'm excited to show you the effects of uh, skip draw. Right? Um, so here, we see nothing. Right? There's nothing. Um, so you have to turn manual hardware, manual fixes. What's the setting again? Yeah, manual hardware fixes off. Um, oh, wow. So, um, that's weird. It's off, right? Oh, there you go. Right. So, so when it's off, you see text. But when it's uh, enabled, that text won't be there. So there's nothing, you know, you don't, won't know what to do. Right. Um, so let's, but I'll show you why you have to do this. Um, so we're going to go into uh the actual game modes um after i turn subtitles on so i like subtitles all right there you go now we're gonna we're going to see why skip draw is important um for destroy all humans all right. This will be fast. Don't worry. There you go. All right. See, the graphics are glitchy. Glitchy as heck. We're going to play around with skip draw a little more. I'm going to show you what happens if we... Um, Turn uh, manual hardware fixes on. All fix. Right. But uh, let's watch the effects of uh, this setting uh, a little bit more. Right. Orthobox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view? from the safety of the mothership very funny All right. let's just say i'm glad I'm i think here if you use software there. for um gpu now, render to right this, um, this is going to the, the um, graphical glitches will disappear but the game Those won't run well right it, it will be slow candidates. so i'll show you if we change this to software no graphical glitches, but 
not 100% game speed. And nothing that you can do on the uh, underclocking can fix that. I've tried. You can try. Um, yeah, it'll be faster, um, but now not consistently, right? So, so this is what happens, right? Um, and this is why I'm being very deliberate uh, on this uh, in this episode. Um, let me just adjust the uh, lighting a little bit more. All right, so you have this circle here, right? And you have our character here. So it actually runs smoothly it just looks terrible right all right so look at what happens when there there are two uh skip draw off settings that you can use but uh what i'm showing you two and five that's what i prefer um but you have another option now what happens when you do that is you lose the circle completely right no I mean, the, the radar is still there, it's just that the circle's no longer there. So you might have trouble um, identifying where the center is, actually. Right. Now, if you change a skip draw, if you change it from, from instead of 2 and 5, make it 5 and 5, um, the circle's back. It's just glitchy, but there, see, you, you, there's like a layer where, uh, it goes with like the, the darkness. So I'm not sure if anyone would want to play this with inconsistent, uh, lighting, right? I think that's very distracting. Um, so I would say just go for two and five. Now, uh, this, um, uh, where I, uh, discovered this is from the PCSX2 forums. Because EtherSX2 and NetherSX2 are both based on PCSX2, which is a PS2 emulator for, I think, Windows and uh, Mac. I'm not sure if it's available on Mac. But yeah, here. So skip draw 2 and 5. Uh, and that means um, minimal graphical glitches, right? Uh, so now let's take a look at performance. So Cortex Scan. Yeah, and at least the subtitles are still there, right? But um, remember the opening cutscene? Uh, Sorry, I'm, uh, he's, he's distracting me. The, the opening cutscene wouldn't play well if you had skip draw Empire. enabled. Your right, if you had man, man you're you. so loud. When you have your manual hardware fixes uh, enabled, the the intro FMV doesn't even show. So there might be some uh, situations in this game where you have to disable uh, manual hardware fixes, right? So just turn it on and off, right? As the game, you know, dictates, right? But there, I hope I illustrate. So here, look at this. It's it's glitchy, right? But if we turn it off, well, actually, it's still gl a glitchy, whatever. But yeah, this is an emulator issue. It's not a um, retroid issue, and it will never be fixed because no one's working on the actual updates on. Ether SX2 or Nether SX2, at least not that I know of. Weak neurons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis. Target an object or creature, then hold All the right. L1 button. Keep holding, then tap the triangle button to lift the target into the sky. It's so funny, right? You can like I can see the appeal of this game. Like, okay, lift this cow. In. And then. 
Oh. Because you can actually, like, slam these cows into each other. Oh, I already killed it. Alright, I'll just... There, see? Just... Just weird kind of violence. Holy mother of Martha, give me the shotgun. Hold the R1 button. Attention, you do in fact have creeps. Just hold the R1 button. Try it now. Give that puny farmer a taste. Just of the old Zapomatic. See, it's, it's like, uh, you're killing people and then you're extracting their brain. Like if this guy wasn't an alien, right? An alien being. Uh, and, you know, we're, we're... It's human, right? Then people would be up in arms at how violent this game is. Get the brain out. Now, um, the the metrics are here in the upper right, um, but I'm not looking at it all the time. Um, so I'll leave it up to you guys if you know. It goes red or green, right? That means it's below 100%. Uh, but usually I go at it by feel, right? Especially if the, the game's a little bit intense. Um, I don't even notice the, the numbers, right? I just... It's really just by feel. Like, is it... Is the game... Does the game feel like it's running slow? Or, you know... Uh, wait. Wait, I wanted to... Alright, this is the, the tough part, right? When... So it's not here. When your radar's not working properly. Where is it? There you go. We get the brains out first. Let's kill this. 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 Wow, that doesn't uh, reach very far, huh? Oh yeah, too low, so we'll... Where is she? There I can fly. He's gone. Oh, look at that. Wow, man, if we haven't been... 2 out of 25, I'm not sure if, like... Yeah, there's a lot of them here. Um, the game wants us to, you know, go to this... Um, saucer, but 
there's like plenty of probes here. Can I walk in the water? Oh no. Alright, so water kills. Oh man. Darn it. Alright, so I won't have you guys go through everything, right? I'm gonna play this again uh, and get to that point. Alright, so yeah, we're here and, you know, to get the brain of the lady, um, I killed her first. Or I unalived her, right? That, that's how you... That's how people say that word nowadays, right? Okay, so... Um, since I already know where they are... Wow, see? You can uh, somewhat fly. Um, I remember seeing one here. And it's gone? What? Maybe uh, once you found one, uh, there, it's no longer there. Let's extract her brain. So I didn't know that there's another lady here. Oh, stay away from water. It doesn't seem like um, there's a time limit as to what, when you can, I mean, how much time it's going to allow you before, you know, the timer runs out. There, see? 4 out of 25, so it's, there's another one. Yeah, it's a good, um test uh, as well right to just uh, run around this first area to see if there are any slowdowns or not and so far I mean you know, it's, it's uh, playing well all right but I'm not, of course I'm not going to explore each and every nook and cranny of this stage I think that go around was okay uh, was good enough um, so we'll go to our, um, flying saucer. Alright, now, uh, enter saucer while I adjust the lighting a little bit. Yeah, I see, I see some people in Reddit say they, they can't get this to run full speed, and I'm not sure why, because it feels like it's running full speed to me. Oh, we're supposed to destroy the houses. The structures, all right. Yeah, the... Oh, um, there's some light bleeding that happens there, see? So, so yeah, graphical glitches are, you know, abound. Coming from all over. All right, this guy's about to fire. I'm taking so much damage. Got I got surrounded. All right, he's about to fire. Oof. Man, you guys have good aim. Did 
you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. There, see the but light, light the passing through. Saucer, out the um, stuff. In the US if you switch this to um, software, it's not right. there. Good, me too. Green. But it's so green. slow. Don't be a stiff. There, you know? see. So yeah. Let's see about Vulcan. Oh, Absolutely. look at that. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. Dickheads, we're actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Maybe we shouldn't be using, um, um, OpenGL, um, uh, at all. All oh, right, what's this? Buy upgrades and view the archives. Get return to the mothership. Um, okay. You may stay and explore this invasion site. I know you want to destroy more humans, but let's make this a little more constructive. I would appreciate it if you could retrieve our data and put it on your I have some investigative tasks for you, but you'll have to find them yourself. Oh, and extract as many brains as you Want. Those humans won't miss. <laughs> oh, and try not to cause too much of a mess. One more thing. Your next assignment is waiting for the back of the mothership. Oof. Did I just die? Oh man, not again. So, uh, we started this again. And yeah, I didn't test this on Vulcan. Uh, because I didn't see the, the need to when I was testing it on OpenGL. Um, but... So, this is Vulcan. And we're gonna start that sequence again. And... Uh, we have manual hard hardware fixes disabled, right? Um, and look at what happens. So, it the, there's still a graphical glitch, right? Uh, it's still not that good. So, so unfortunately, we really need to um, enable, you know, uh, enable skip draw. Now, um, wow, look at that. Uh, on Vulcan, um, your next assignment is waiting for you back at the mothership. No, it's still not there, right? So, um, yeah, on Vulcan, uh, it fixes the. All right. I'm almost dead. Oh, I got... Die already. All right. So what what we've been doing actually um, now that I think about it now um, it's nice in this video we were able to oh crud. 
I forgot. You're supposed to tap. I can't concentrate. You're supposed to tap this circle button. All right. Um, I was thinking of redoing this from the beginning, but now that I think about it, um, what's this? Stop. Click four brain stems. Decline challenge. Go. Oh. If they're just one, right? They're easy, but you know, when you have to deal with several at the same time, that's when they become difficult. All right. I don't know. Should we be uh, keep messing around with this uh, area? Let's just fill out that meter. It looks like um, the more brains we get, the the more full that um, meter goes. Sorry, I mean it's so hard to to like talk and um, play the game at the same time. Um, so what do I want to say? Um, there you go. Let's get some more brains. Alright. Hunting season for who? Um, so in one video, right, we were able to compare the difference between OpenGL. Um, software. And Vulkan, right? So there, there are differences. Now, uh, people will tell you, uh, you start with OpenGL first. And then you switch to Vulkan. Um, and actually when I saw the, uh, light bleed glitch, I didn't think to switch to Vulcan, but yeah. Now we know, uh, Vulcan is better for this game. Doesn't fix everything, but at least, you know. Alright. Uh, are we supposed to, like... What else are we supposed to do here? Mission goals. Nothing. Oh, there's something r near me. Where is it? Oh, there you go. All right, you know what? It's already half an hour, um, past half an hour since we started. So, um, but we're on the other side of the lake, and uh, I don't want to risk falling into the water again. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna take a shortcut. We're just gonna run around this lake. And we're gonna leave. Oh wow. They're back? All right, yeah, we're going to leave. 
it said um, 25 probe or something, but I don't see any more, so I'm going to start the other um, mission. All right, bye-bye, E.T. Wait a second. Uh, I thought I'm confused. Return to mothership. All right, return to mothership. That's what I should do. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a new in office, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized hmm. our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened okay. upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon hmm. genes and humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. Represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. That is a weird concept. Alright. So, Roswell. here. See, uh, when you're there, you have to turn the um, manual hardware fixes off. And then now you can see. Right. So we're going at, we're going to Rockwell. And of course, uh, we're here, so uh, we're gonna enable manual hardware fixes again. Um, so that uh, the next, you know what, uh, we'll get to the next area, take a look at how it looks, and then... All right. Oh wow. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the So the text is glitching. Find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for questioning. Get the picture. All right. So there see glitches if you don't have the uh, manual hardware fixes. If you enable it, you won't be able to see the subtitles. There you go. But, you know, I mean, pick your poison. Alright, so, let's, uh, -huh. Oh. Oh wow, look at that. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Ba boom! Now, what exactly did Dr. Kenzie mean by deviant? I bet he was talking about Billy Bob. Is there something? supposed to do enter the fair Oh, Glenn. 
most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. <laughs> Move along. Nothing to see here. Boy, short like saying. I can feel my arteries clogging up right this second. And I like it. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I got to sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching us. This human seems to be on to something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Now, wait a minute. These houses all look alike. Which one do I live in again? Isn't that... A uh, good candidate for for who we want to take. If there's anything more sensual than polyester, I haven't found it. I'm feeling wild today. Maybe I'll try riding that Mr. Ed versus Francis the Talking Mule. Now that's a debate I'd like to see. I put a carrot on Mr. Ed myself. Ooh, there it is again. That not so fresh feeling. Not so fresh feeling. What are you talking about? What did this guy say? Girl, I mean. I wonder who I'm really supposed to scan. Hmm. There you go, all right. So we should just follow. I mean, I figured it out. It's just I'm looking for them. And oh, here all you right, go. Crypto. I have analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No, abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way is more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. <laughs> I like our character. He's very single minded. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Where is she? Um, is she the one in the tent? No, oh, there you go.
Oh, look at that. Even on Vulcan, uh, light bleeding doesn't get fixed completely, right? You're going downtown. What? I'm like... Alright, you know, I'm gonna restart this. Alright, let's try that again. Um... Alright, so we have to keep scanning. Ah, smell that suburban egg. My mind says Marilyn, but my nightstick says Betty Page. Which way is the egg? Oh. Man, oh man, she may be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. Check out Look at this. Boat. And there are some frame rate dips uh, there, sure right? Look like the pie eating contest. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh God! Please, no! Oh, oh, <laughs> this is. This de this game is definitely unique. Relax. Disturbance is on the increase. Extra Destroy the fair? Okay. Controls have been sent to investigate. Uh, let's destroy the ones firing at me first. Ooh. Those are a lot of uh, gunfire. What's what's in there? All right, I had fun with you guys, but you know, you won't annihilate yourselves. So, let me do it for you. We're supposed to destroy this too. Look at how powerful the lights are. Yeah, when some lights are really, really uh, bright, yeah, even uh, shifting to Vulcan doesn't do anything. What's firing there? Oh.
All right. I think a failed to ruin something there. Okay. But what next? Yeah, well, this is emulation, right? So, mission complete. Freak storm. There's so many, like, people. Okay, uh, in the interest of time. Actually, no, no, no. Why did I land this off there? I'm gonna have to launch it again. Uh, go back, go back, go back. Go back, we're not gonna go. We're not gonna collect probes. Alright. Um... It's almost uh, an hour, right? So uh, we're just going to take a look at the next mission and then... Yes, let's return to the mothership. Fox's lab. I was ready. Oh, this is the upgrades. Uh, yeah, when you're in these menus, you have to disable hardware. Purchase. Oh, chain lightning. Okay, fine. There's nothing, there's nothing that he really offered us. Citizen Crypto. All right. So let's take a look at this one. Both points. Are he's is he talking about cows? Um For levels of radiation. Stop wasting time and investigate them immediately. All right, so this is a do over. I'll prob I probably deleted uh cut my previous attempt at this. Show them. to get um Did we attract anyone? Oh shoot.
Where's the body of the other uh, scientist? I wanted to get like a... His DNA. Oh, I thought this was like a... Where did he come from? Never mind that! You must stop him before he publicly reveals your existence! So where is he? Yeah, I went, I went here earlier to get the... Wow, oh, he doesn't have enough. Oh. Where is the police commissioner? He was assigned to protect me. Here are one of the dang cows. They look like it stuck some sort of device up the poor thing's trap, trap, after all that. I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her. Crops laid out flat in circles like a Fourth of July pinwheel. I told Andrew, there goes our saving. No new shoes for the twins. And I guess Darlene's just going to have to live another year with that overbot. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now, what just a cop? Okay, so, so I think things are, you know, running as they should. Hmm. All right. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Oops. The Air Force assures me that whatever you may have seen was most likely the Aurora Borealis. Or a weather balloon. Okay. This is tough. Read my lips. I will not rest until we find the perpetrators of the fairground cottage and then bring them to justice. Well, now, hold on. How come nobody in Phantom Odette has been seeing anything like this? Hmm. Trouble your puny human brains about. 
the mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. Okay, that was that easy. Maybe I should run for mayor. Okay. D right. So we're going to try to get back to our mothership, right? But uh, where am I? Okay. Six of uh, thirty. Yeah. Uh, where is our? Uh, I guess that's that blue, blue, just head towards that blue, oh no. Wait, is that another probe? No, that's a cow. All right, yeah, I mean, it's, it's engaging, so it's hard to uh, keep talking. I mean, I'm not, not sure if there's, there's anyone who's going to spot me. What's going on there, see? Oh, what just happened? Why are there so many people around? It's like all of a sudden, uh, the people in this uh, town just, you know, decided to take a walk at night. There you go. So there's our uh, ship. We're going to board. Or we're going to just fly over town. You know what? I'm just going to just, oh, inner saucer. Yeah. Just going to destroy a few buildings while we close this um, episode. So, yeah. Um, settings for Ether SX2 that I recommend. Let's just recap it. Uh, nothing on no change to system after you press that optimal settings no change to system graphics it looks like Vulcan uh, looks better because uh, it addresses some of the light lead issues that you get you can place a 2x upscale and when you're using Vulcan make sure the threaded presentation is checked audio Gaussian is sync time stretch for synchronization uh, Gaussian for interpolation and then uh, in advanced settings, you'll have to toggle this on and off depending on uh, what you need from the game. But manual hardware fixes. And skip draw, start at 2, and skip draw, end at 5. 
right? And with that, um, destroy all humans, the first uh, one, uh, the PlayStation version, is playable on the uh, Retro Pocket 4 Pro. Performance is decent, Perform um, but there are graphical issues, right, uh, that I showed earlier. Um, if you don't uh, use skip draw, we'll, we'll go, well, just in case, you know, you didn't watch the video. You just uh, went right to the end. If you don't skip, use skip draw, you'll have that uh, glitch. Right, that you see right now. There. Uh, and that's in Vulcan, so that's very distracting. I wouldn't want to play this game. Uh... With that blinking, you know, that dark, glitchy screen thing. But some graphics don't load properly if you have skip draw enabled. So you'll have to toggle it on and off. And uh, again, this is an emulator issue, not a Retroid issue. Uh, I've seen... Uh, I've seen uh, posts uh, about this game on... Uh, PCSX2, right? So yeah, it's not. It's really uh, a compatibility issue with uh, the emulator. Okay, well, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, once again, this is Al from GamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video. All right, I guess we pissed uh, this town off. Well, maybe we should just leave. <laughs>